Good evening, everybody. We are in a different location. <laughs> this this whole trying to make a video this week is probably a pipe dream, but I'm trying anyway. It's been a busy couple days off. I was off um, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, December 20th, and uh, Thursday, December 21st. It's currently December 22nd because it's like 1.40 in the morning. I even have a kid asleep right there. But I have two other kids. My son and his cousin are in the living room. So I couldn't be in there. Don't really have many other options. Especially with as loud as they're being. So we're in my bedroom. Um, nice little change. <clears throat> Not the most attractive one, but you can kind of see my stitchy spot over there where I keep all my threads and everything. So, it's been a busy couple days. I got off of work at 6 a.m. Wednesday morning, and I had parental obligations. I had to come home and make cherry cheesecake brownies for my daughter's Christmas party. Then, they, then I had to get them up to the school and uh, then come home and take a nap because we had plenty planned that evening. Um, this was after um, having to deal with school drama on Monday between my son and the principal. And then uh, it, Tuesday was her musical, which if you haven't seen it, the full program is on my channel. Um, she, she had speaking parts at the beginning, she had a solo in the middle, very involved, uh, she did a really good job and I'm really proud of her. She said it was really hard cause, um, like she's, she's friendly and she's outgoing, but she's also kind of shy. So like getting up in front of people. So anyway, then my son won a bike at school. So then I had to go pick that up all before going to work on Tuesday. So, I was up really early on Tuesday, like around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Worked all night, got home, made brownies. By the time I got to sleep, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we, I slept for a few hours. And then we took the kids to the nearby big city. And um, we went and saw the movie Jumanji. It was really good. I really recommend it. Really funny. If you have little kids couple inappropriate parts I was able to tell my daughter to just ignore them but I know not all parents can do that so just be aware of course when you put Jack Black in a movie you kind of got to you know think that that may happen then we left there we took the kids to Walmart so they could Christmas shop for each other because I had already finished my Christmas shopping but they wanted to buy something for each other and it was a madhouse seriously like six days before Christmas what was I thinking? Drinking orange juice. I'm just getting over being sick the last four or five days, so down in the orange juice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, prove my point. Um, after the movies, we went and looked at Christmas lights because they have this big park that you can drive through. It's got all kinds of different lights and you put on your radio station and drive through um came home got to sleep a little bit <laughs> today i did some ffoing which i do not get to show you because it's already in the mail on the way to my nephews uh they were just christmas ornaments for them for this year um in fact i still have some ffoing i didn't get to because i left the paint in my truck and my husband went to work in the truck so we'll get to that um, I worked on a new project, something I've never done before. Uh, I like the way it turned out, but we'll discuss that more later. And then I came home and I was trying to get the house in order because, you know, Christmas is like right around the corner and I worked the next couple days. So, um, did that, played some Monopoly with the kids. Um, then they played Clue while I got this video together. And that one crashed. We had to do it in the other room. So, 
that was my week since you've last seen me. Although technically I guess you didn't see me because it was a Stitch With Me video so you were looking at my project. As I stated in the last video, I still have a ton in the works coming up. Um, it's not happening as quickly as I would like it to because of it's been so crazy and busy, but it'll all happen. I promise. I'm, I'm almost ready. So first I'm going to do my whips and then we'll talk about the project I worked on today. I did get haul in the mail this week and my husband made me put it under the tree. So you don't get to see that till after Christmas. Um, and then I think that's it. So it'll be a fairly short video, but that's good because then I gotta start my next video, which you will see in a couple days. So, of course, I've worked on my Monopoly twice since I last saw you, since it's been two weeks since I actually did one of these videos. And I'm just amazed at how fast this is stitching up, especially when you stitch with Stitch With Me videos, because I don't have to look up constantly like I do in other videos, um, because I have to see all the things, right? And um, so I don't have to look up as much. You know, I have somebody there talking me through it, or not through it, like they're teaching me, but like talking to me, something to listen to. And uh, I might even respond when people are talking. I know they can't hear me, but still, I'm having a conversation with you. We're hanging out. Um, so anyway, got a lot of stitching done. So the last time you saw this, I had finished Go. Yeah, I finished Go. And so, and yes, I know I'm a messy stitcher, but so I got threads all over the place. Got Mediterranean and Community Chess that first week, and then Baltic Avenue and Income Tax this last week. And I still had some time to work after I got finished with that, so I just kept on going. I had my Stitch With Me videos going. I had to keep keep on trekking. It wasn't a lot of time. But. So that's where that's at. Oh. I want to see a full thing since I'm sitting a little further away from the camera. Yep. Wow, look at that. It is really coming along. It's crazy. Excited. And I've still got it. It doesn't have to be done till June. I'm going to be done way ahead of time. Which is good because we all know how long it takes us to actually FFO something. And this one will have to be FFO'd before I go. So there's that. Um, the next one I worked on is Under the Sea, I finished The Mermaid and The Fish. And really, it was just backstitching. That was all I had left to work on that. Oh. I might thread that over way more. Right. So you can see her. I will admit I have not been getting a lot of stitching done, but it's because I've been getting a lot of organizing done. I mean, I showed y'all my two hour bullet journal video or happy planner. I don't like calling it the happy planner. Maybe I'm just going to call it my stitchy journal, even though it's got more in it than just that, but that's really the main premise for it. I don't like calling it the happy planner. Bullet journal just rolled better. I don't know. Um, so I gotta think about that one. Um, so there's that. And, so, like I said, I haven't been doing a lot of stitching, so that night, the fact that once, I mean, all I did was the back stitching on the mermaid and some fish, and then I was done, and I didn't pull anything else out. The other thing is, is I've been writing to work with my husband, um, cause we work for the same company but we work at two different locations. My location is on the way to his location and we decided we need new brakes on our car and then the headlight went out the other day. So we decided to stop driving the car. We'd ride together to work. Well, when we ride together, I take a limited amount of stuff with me into my shack. Whereas before I would take everything and I just kept it in my truck and then I would go to my truck, get this, bring it in the shack when I was done with it, put it back, you know, all night long. 
so I haven't been doing that. So I only take one project with me. Well, when I finished the back stitching on that, and I did not have, I had the next month, but I didn't have it loaded on my iPad. I had it somewhere else and I had no service. It's one thing after another. So I was like, okay, we're not going to work on that anymore tonight. We're going to focus on, I had Christmas newsletter to write up. I had my, my stitchy journal to get completed because I was also, I went through, um, I guess I left it in the other room or else I'd show you. I got project pages done for every single project that I have, that I'm working on, that I have kitted or that I have plans to kit in the near future. I mean, very near future. You know, after Christmas and I'm allowed to get all that stuff I just ordered. So, um, anyway, I got all those pro those project records completely updated to the best of their ability so that I'm, come January, I'm ready to just dive right into that new journal. So, there's that. Um, so now I'll ask Jenga. Now, the night I pulled this out, I focused on it. I worked on it all night because I love it. Gosh, you know, I'll work on something and think that I love it. And then I pull out something like this and I'm like, oh, no. This one, I don't know why this one just, it might, it's, I really feel like part of it's the fabric. I'm just so in love with the nice clean yellow fabric and it's just stitching up so nicely I don't I mean those are some nice stitches and I don't say that about my own work very often so I mean I'm so impressed I'm gonna let you get really close I had run out of the light pink and like I said I wasn't taking a whole bunch of stuff with me so I didn't have my spare thread so I ran out of light pink so I finished the word quotes I started on live by got a lot of the border done some of the darker pink up here I was working on just filled in a lot of it can you see those stitches can you see how pretty those stitches are I'm telling you I never say that about my stitches so I just the way this project's going together completely okay so and don't you love my little owl Got that from Delicious Threads. Jen sent that to me. It's so pretty. My husband has a real thing for owls and it's starting to spill over. Especially they make them so cutesy now. I can't really help it. So that is all my whips for two weeks. I'm telling you, it's not pretty. But it's just, you know, the beginning of the year, I'm going to full force head back into it. So. Be ready for that. Um, so I've been playing with the thought of doing a project bag. And at first, because I bought this one from um, Stitchers at Heart there in Austin. I bought this one and I was like, I could do that. I'm gonna do that so I bought the vinyl and I was just gonna use fabric I had um, versus buying more fabric and I bought the zipper and then I didn't have interfacing so then I went back and bought interfacing which I don't think if this has it it has thin interfacing I ended up with some kind of thick interfacing but anyways um, So, I've been talking about this for like, or I've been thinking about this for a few weeks. Finally got around to doing something today. So, I should have been cleaning my house, but instead, I decided to try and make a project bag. Now, when I got down to it, I was not quite ready to take the plunge into doing the vinyl. Because I didn't find a good... I wasn't finding a tutorial that was exactly what I wanted. Um, I did find, uh, 
I want to say it's making life count or making stitches or oh my goodness Just hold on one second because I want whomever to get credit for that but my internet is not working making life count she has a tutorial on vinyl bags, but it has like, it doesn't have like this. It just has this real thin all the way around. The entire front is vinyl. The zippers on the, um, like a very narrow spot up here. And it wasn't exactly what I wanted. And, and plus, I, I was looking for something for my heaven and earth designs, which I have on 11 by 17 Q-snap. So I needed one that was fairly big and none of them were really giving me those sizes. So then I needed something that was simple enough that I could adjust the sizes the way that I needed them. So I ended up using the tutorial by Primitive Stitcher that she actually did pretty recently. I want to say in November. And... So I used her tutorial, and I did okay. I'm not 100% pleased. My Q, so this is it. My Q snap does fit in here. It's in here right now, but it is the tightest fit. Oh my goodness, like, like, tightest fit. <laughs> so, but that's an 11 by 17 in there. Oh, that was pretty cool. So this is the bag. And it's going to look a little different than what she tutorials you for. But part of that is because, you know, at Walmart you can get those, like, five packs of the fat quarters. That's what I had. And um, so basically, I used most of, almost four of them. But it was... I thought it was better than going out and buying fabric, like a whole yard of fabric or whatever for this, for my first time to play around. And I was able to do it. So you've got this purple, which I think is so pretty. And actually it's, I've had this fabric for so long and it's been folded up the way that I bought it and tucked away. But there's actually like this line across here where it's faded. Um, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me, but obviously if I was making bags professionally, that would not be cool. But I don't really care. So, I was not going to have enough fabric to do the front and the back in this color. Because if you don't look at that, we're not to that yet. In her tutorial, these are one, one fabric. This is a fabric on the front and the back, and then you have your inside lining. So, I wasn't going to be able to do that. So what I did was I made the back out of one fabric, use what was little for this, and then this and this. So that you kind of got the alternating, but yet, I don't know, I really like it. I would consider doing that on purpose, you know, in the future, because I, I like the way that that turned out. Almost looks like a little pillowcase. And of course, that also means I didn't have enough of the lining to completely do the bag, so there's actually a second fabric in there let me show you but it's a lining who cares it doesn't care what that looks like so that's that um part of this is I could not find my rotary cutter thing so I had to cut with scissors and then I apparently can't I don't know if you can see that but I can't sit stitch straight Actually, that was because uh, when I pinned it all t together, I didn't pin it, and it kind of slipped. So there's actually a piece, a very, 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 very small piece right there where it's not quite stitched in. But anyways, this was just for me. This was just to try it and to have something to cover this so I don't have to take it off the Q-snap every time. And uh, it'll work for now. I'll definitely make one a little bit better. And really, honestly, 
with the big project bag that I need, I don't need it to be vinyl. I don't need to see what's in there because there's only one possibility. It's whichever heaven and earth design I am working on this week. So, but I made a zipper for the first time ever in my entire life. Um, the, this was a very big first, so I'm excited. This side came out pretty good. This side, not so much, but I don't know. I'm excited. So that was my, my project today that I managed to get through. So. And like I said, I FFO'd two ornaments and got them out in the mail so that they might be able to go on the tree before Christmas. Doubt it. No, probably not. You're right. Sorry. I make mistakes like that all the time. So. Oh, there was something I was going to tell you about Monopoly. See if I kept my notes nearby. I actually wrote something in my notes this time. So one last thing before I let you go. Um, so I can't show you the pattern for this. Not only because copyright and all that yada yada. But also because... But also because it's on my iPad, which is what I record with. So I want you to look at... No, let's go with Bino. Okay, that's something I need to check too. Did I forget Railroad? Was that supposed to say Short Line Railroad? Did I forget? Do I have to go back? <sighs> okay. So, let me make this more manageable. Y'all all managed to do this so nicely. Okay. Bino Railroad. You see the way that O is stitched? Or those R's? Or the D? Any of that. You see that? And it's like that on every one to the point that I've gotten in a groove. I pretty much know what the letter is supposed to stitch up like. Pretty much. Every once in a while there's a kicker thrown in there that I'm not quite used to. But for the most part, I know how to do it. The way this is charted for Reading Railroad, which is the one I just did, the font was completely different. The, which I fixed it, I, I made it look like everything else because that just didn't make any sense to me, but it was completely different and it had me so thrown off for a few. I even had to pull out the O because I stitched it like it showed it. And then I went back and looked at my other ones. I'm like, that's not how I've done O this entire time. You know, almost every word has an O in it. Not really. So, like, the E's didn't have those little foots on the end. The little, yeah. Didn't have those. The O was really weird. The R was weird. Well, I think I ended up doing the R. Was it the R? No. There was something I ended up doing their way and I didn't go back and pull it out. Maybe I did. It kind of looks like I did. The end was different. I mean, it just looked completely different. So I went, I was like, no, this isn't going to work for me. And I went back and fixed it. But it was so weird that one, because I looked through the whole pattern after that. And just that one square had a completely different font. So weird. So anyway. That was that. So. Odd. Well, and. Okay. While we're on the subject. Right here. Okay, you see. Everything lines up. Everything looks nice. It's all uniform. It's all the same. No. The way that it was charted, this one square was supposed to have a second line of black at the top. No, I just put the purple there, which, and I'm pretty sure, isn't, aren't they supposed to be brown? Like, it totally threw me off. I was looking for the brown color when I got to Baltic, and there was no brown. There was purple. But I think I like the purple better, 
So I did not complain. I just went with it. And and then the classic Monopoly, it may be purple. I'm we've been playing Monopoly lately, but we're playing the Ultimate Banking Edition. And it's brown on there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it was always brown. I like how much these colors just pop. All of them. And maybe that's why it's purple and not brown, because brown? Really? So anyway, moving on. That is it for me this week. Um I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I, okay, so <laughs> I got shouted out in Bendy Stitchy's um, video this week, uh, which made me cry. Like, I was so excited. Happy tears. So anyways, um, I did not realize that because she does her videos on Tuesday mornings. Tuesday afternoon... I had seen a couple emails where I got new subscribers and I was like, hmm, pretty good influx. I thought it was from the Stitch With Me videos from the week before because I posted in the Friday off the grid Facebook page that I was making the Stitch With Me video. And then I got to work and things settled down and I pulled up Michelle's video and she said my name. So anyway, uh, that's where all my influx of subscribers have come from because I went from like $2.99 and I think about like $3.35 now. It was crazy. So, um, thank you to all of you that have been here and I'm so happy to have so many new people and I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, I hope you keep coming back because I am trying to do a little bit more with my channel at the end of 2017 and into 2018. Um, and so thanks everybody. I hope y'all have a great week and happy stitching.